OK, next, well, living the Kiwi dream, that's exactly what we're doing. Find out why big city folk, though, are upping sticks and moving to the New Zealand countryside. <laughs> we're going to talk about this family. They've gone from one of the biggest cities in America to a quaint Wadarapa farm, and it's the last place on earth Jared Gullian thought he'd end up. But he's just one of many Americans who have discovered the Kiwi way of life. We sent James Ramsey for a day on the farm. It's a far cry from the bright lights of Chicago. That's Dougal the dim-witted eunuch, he just loves a belly rub. There's Kofi over there, he's the boar. And then here we've got Mrs. D. And chickens, and sheep, and an olive grove as well. Believe it or not, but Jared was once a city boy, through and through. Oh, where did it start? He and his partner CJ lived in some of the world's biggest cities. Their corporate jobs were all that mattered, surviving for years on takeaways and microwave meals until their expat friends told them of a little old place called New Zealand. CJ came out for work and he was travelling around the Wairarapa and he saw this property. He came home one day and said, let's move to Martinborough. And I said, you're crazy, no way. But once CJ showed Jared the olive grove, things, well, changed. Imagine the person that you love stands you in front of something so beautiful and says, let's live here, let's make this ours, let's take care of it. Of course I said yes. Jared and CJ are part of a growing number of expats who have settled in New Zealand for a slower pace, trading in corporate suits for backyard boots. Did you ever think in a million years they'd be here of all places? No, and, and oh, about a couple months ago, he was walking out to the um, chicken coop with chicken feed and a pig following him. And I was like, who is that child? Who is that man? And what did you do with my son? That's Jared's mum, Diane, and CJ's auntie, Mims. They visit nearly every year. In my wildest, I never thought I'd be in your wonderful country. No, yeah, yeah, we haven't them. told them we're, we're here forever. No. So now Jared and CJ spend the season harvesting their olive grove, and you're probably wondering where CJ is. He's right there. He is elusive. He's very camera shy. The farm's even inspired Jared to write a book about moving down under. While running the farm has been a learning curve, the biggest lesson they've learnt is how to be part of a community that cares something that's hard to find in the big city. People have been so supportive and accepting and they've taught, taught us how, how to live here because we wouldn't have known otherwise. Wow, what a cool story. James, what a great story you told us. They were pretty cool guys and they had um, pretty much, I was very envious actually, they had a very cool lifestyle out there in the Wairarapa.